Today we're exploring the strange and often terrifying cases of spontaneous human combustion, or SHC for short. These are stories where people allegedly burst into flames without any external source of ignition. Let's delve into some of the most famous cases. Our first case takes us to St. Petersburg, Florida in 1951. Mary Reeser, a 67-year-old woman, was found reduced to ashes in her apartment. The only parts of her body that remained were her left foot and a portion of her backbone. Firefighters and investigators were baffled. The chair she was sitting in was mostly intact, and the rest of the room showed minimal fire damage. The heat required to cremate a human body is around 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, far higher than a typical house fire. Yet the rest of her apartment was untouched. How could this happen? Next, we travel to Cowdersport, Pennsylvania, in 1966. Dr. John Irving Bentley, a retired physician, was found reduced to ashes in his bathroom. Only his lower leg remained, still clad in a slipper. The story goes that a meter reader discovered the remains after noticing a strange, sweet smell and seeing a light flickering under the bathroom door. The fire seemed to have started from within Dr. Bentley himself, with no apparent external source. His walker, found next to the remains, was undamaged. What could have caused such an intense, localized fire? Our final case is more recent. In 2010 in Galway, Ireland, 76-year-old Michael Faherty was found dead in his home. His body was almost completely incinerated, but the surrounding room was mostly unscathed. The coroner concluded that Faherty's death was due to spontaneous human combustion, marking it as the official cause. This case reignited the debate about SHC, as it seemed to defy all logical explanations. So, what could be causing these mysterious fires? Scientists have proposed several theories, but none have been definitively proven. One popular theory is the wick effect. This suggests that the body acts like an inside-out candle, with the person's clothing serving as the wick and their fat as the flammable substance. This could explain the localized burning in high temperatures. Another theory involves static electricity or a buildup of methane within the body, though these explanations lack concrete evidence. Some believe SHC might be linked to a rare medical condition or even paranormal activity. Spontaneous human combustion remains one of the most intriguing and unexplained phenomena. While science continues to search for answers, these cases leave us with more questions than explanations. What do you think? Is SHC a real phenomenon? Or is there a more rational explanation? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating content. Thanks for watching. Stay curious and stay safe.